Hi, I'm Lucy and I study chemistry here at the University of Glasgow. Today, my lab partner and I are going to show you some basic chemistry skills, including using a burette, pipette and preparing a standard solution. I will now show you how to wash and fill a pipette. First, I'm going to put my lab glasses and my lab gloves on. We're going to be using a 20ml pipette. I'll attach the pipette filler to the pipette, making sure to hold it at the very top. Draw up the solution so that the pipette is half filled. I'll take off the pipette filler and close the top with my thumb. I'll now rinse the solution around the pipette, spinning it, and then drain it into the waste beaker. I'll now reattach the pipette filler and fill the pipette up to the mark, making sure to read from the bottom of the meniscus. The meniscus is the bottom of the curve of the liquid when in the pipette. Now I'm going to set up the burette. Before I start, I'm first going to tie my hair up, put my safety specs on and put on my gloves, which is standard practice before any experiment. First, I'm going to pour out the sodium hydroxide solution into a small beaker. Now we are going to wash the burette. I'm going to make sure that the tap is definitely closed. Now I put the funnel into the burette I pour in some sodium hydroxide solution to make sure that the burette is only half full. I open the tap to make sure that the sodium hydroxide moves through and there are no bubbles left in the underside of the tap. The remaining solution, I will wash out the top into the waste bucket. Now, to fill the burette, I make sure that the tap is again closed. Add the funnel back to the top of the burette and pour in more solution than is needed to fill. I remove the funnel from the top of the burette before I start the reaction. This is because it could drip in and change the volume that is in the burette. I now open the tap and watch the meniscus fall till it reaches the zero point and close the tap. Now I will show you how to prepare a standard solution. First, I will put on my lab gloves and glasses. Now I'll turn on the balance and tear it to zero. A balance is a technical name for scales in chemistry. I put the weighing boat on the balance and tear it again. I remove the weighing boat and add the sodium chloride. Taking the boat off the balance ensures there is no spillage of the chemical onto the balance. I put the weighing boat back on the balance to check I've got the right mass and if not, I can adjust it accordingly. I then note down the mass of the sodium chloride. I pour the sodium chloride into the beaker. Next, I rinse off the weighing boat with deionized water. I add more deionized water and stir it with a glass rod until it is fully dissolved. If your chemical doesn't fully dissolve, you may need to add some more water. Make sure to rinse off any excess chemical from the glass rod. Next, I will put the funnel into the standard flask and add the solution from the beaker. Rinse the beaker using a pipette to make sure there's no chemical left. Top up with extra water until you are near the graduation mark. Then use a plastic pipette to fill to the meniscus. The meniscus is the bottom of the curve of the solution in the standard flask. Remove the funnel and add the stopper. Invert the flask several times to make sure everything is mixed thoroughly. I've now made a standard solution of sodium chloride. This is a really useful technique throughout chemistry. These are really useful skills that you would use throughout your degree here at the University of Glasgow and in your future as a chemist. 